Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video show how to unroute your Samsung Galaxy S4. This will be the easiest method. Any variant, uh, this will work for Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, International, any variant of your Galaxy S4. You just need to download the correct file, which I will show you how to do so in just a second. I want to make a quick note that your data is going to most likely be wiped, so make sure you uh, back up all your apps, your contacts, your text messages, all that's going to be wiped. I don't believe your internal storage will be wiped. I'll make an annotation if it does, but it's always safe to back up your internal storage just in case anything does go wrong. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. So the first step would be to actually click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to my website right here. All you have to do is go ahead and scroll down, scroll down, and you'll see a couple download files. So you'll see Odin and Tar files. So you need to download two files actually. First one being Odin, everyone needs to download this Odin file, so click on it, download it, uh, and let that download. And then also you're going to need to download a TAR file, so make sure you select the proper one. You'll see there's Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, Rogers, Bell, and if you have a GTI 9500 or GTI 9505, you need to go to samfirmware.com to download the TAR file. So again, make sure you find out whatever variant that you do have and download the specific TAR file for your device. So I have the Sprint. So I would click on this one and download the Sprint download. But again, so you need two files, Odin and your specific TAR file. So go ahead and download both of those. The TAR file is probably pretty large, so it could take a little bit of time to download. But anyways, to get ready, we need to go ahead and put our phone into something called download mode or Odin mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and fully power off the device. And once fully powered off, all you need to do is press and hold volume down, the home button, and power button all at the same time. So press and hold all three of them, and that will take us into download mode. This warning screen will come up. Just press volume up to continue, and there we go. So it'll take us into download mode right here. And we are just about ready to go. Uh, hopefully these downloads are just about finished. Once they are done, you can go ahead and go into your downloads folder. All right, so once in our downloads folder, you see you have both of these files downloaded, whatever specific tar file you need, and also this Odin file. So what I recommend doing is go to your desktop and create a new folder. So just go ahead and right click, new folder, and I'm gonna call it S4 Unroot, just so you know exactly what's in there. And then we need to go ahead and extract both files out of these. So first, I'm gonna double click on Odin 3, and inside that Odin 3 zip, you'll see these two files. Go ahead and highlight both of them and transfer both of them to this S4 Unroot folder. It's going to go ahead and extract them right there. Then go back to your Downloads folder. And then you will see that there is uh, this zip file as well. Double click on that. And then go ahead and transfer both of these files. You really don't need this application extension, but you can just go ahead and transfer both of them to the S4 Unroot folder folder. This one will take a little bit longer because the file size is very large as you probably knew by the download time it took to download the tar file. I also want to make a quick note that right below these tar files I'm actually going to put a link for the drivers. I'm assuming if your phone's rooted you have the drivers installed on your PC already but if you have not installed the drivers I'm going to put a download link like right there for the drivers. So go ahead and download and install those if you have not done so on your PC. All right, and once this is done extracting, you can actually double click on the S4 Unroot folder, and inside it, you will see there's those files that we just extracted. So, what you need to do now is go ahead and right click on the Odin file and hit Run as Administrator. Allow it user account control, and it will open up Odin. I know it says Epic 4G up at the top, but that is not a big deal at all. But now that we have Odin opened up, all we need to do is put a file in this PDA slot of Odin, which would be the tar file that you need to put in there. So you will notice that inside this folder, there's this tar file. It'll say your model number, etc., but it'll say .tar.md5. Yours might not say .md5. It's not a big deal if yours says just .tar at the end or .tar.md5. So uh, not too big of a deal if it says one or the other. But anyways, just go ahead and press this PDA button. And then we go, need to go ahead and navigate to that S4 Unroot folder. You'll see mine already did, but if yours does not, go ahead and go to desktop, find that S4 Unroot folder, and inside you'll see you need to click on this tar file that's right here. It might say MD5 file right there. Double click on it, and then it'll put that file right inside of Odin. And then you want to double check, make sure only auto reboot is checked, and we are ready to go. So Odin's all done. What you need to do now is go ahead and grab your Galaxy S4 and just plug it into your PC. So plug it on in. If drivers are installing, let them uh, take their time and install. But you should see a yellow box pop up. It should say COM and then a number. It does not matter what the number is. 
but it should pop up with comma and then a number that lets you know that Odin does recognize your device. But anyways, once Odin does recognize your device, you see this yellow box, you can just go ahead and press the start button. So go ahead and press start. It'll go ahead and run through. It'll show your progress in this upper left box. It'll In the lower left box, it'll actually show it as well. Uh, just be patient with it. This will take a good amount of time. You'll see mine says not responding at the moment. It should. It does that sometimes. It should go ahead and respond eventually. So just be patient with it. So you'll see mine go ahead, went ahead and responded again. And now you'll see a progress bar, a blue progress bar show up in your Galaxy S4 right there. It's very small at the moment, just started. But you also see a green progress bar in the upper left-hand corner of Odin. Some troubleshooting steps if, for any reason, Odin doesn't recognize your device or you have any problems whatsoever. Try a different cable. USB cable is usually the main culprit of any issues with Odin. You can try reinstalling drivers. Uh, you can also try taking out your battery, putting it back in. Try it without the battery in. There's many different troubleshooting steps that you can make. Also try different USB ports as well. So those are the main troubleshooting steps if you have any issues whatsoever with Odin. Uh, also make sure that your PC does not go into sleep or hibernation mode. Move the mouse, whatever. It shouldn't take, shouldn't take any more than 15 minutes with this. Um, if it takes longer than 15 minutes, something went wrong, try those troubleshooting steps that I just mentioned. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this run through and I will be back once it is nearing completion. You'll see it looks like it's just about finishing up. Once it is done, it should automatically reboot your device. So you'll see reset, pass. Mine took five minutes and 31 seconds. For those of you that wanna know, your time might be a little bit different. But again, I believe it's gonna actually go into stock recovery right after this and do a factory reset, uh, and I am right. So you'll see in stock recovery now, once it's done with stock recovery, it'll reboot your device once again, and then you should be good to go. All right, you'll see mine booted up, and this specific tar file did not wipe any data. None of my data did get wiped, uh, but I'm not rooted anymore. What you can actually do is go ahead, and uh, you'll see I go to root checker, and it's not rooted. Um, I can go ahead and hit verify root access. It says, sorry, this device is not a proper root access. You can just go ahead and uninstall super user. So just go ahead and go into your app drawer, press menu, uninstall, uninstall the super user application, because you don't need it anymore. You're completely unrooted, however, if for any reason your device is stuck in a boot loop after this uh, occurs, you will need to go into stock recovery and do a factory reset. So I'll show you how to do that now. Just go ahead and power off your device. You don't need it plugged in anymore. Once your Odin is passed, you can actually unplug your device. Once the device is fully powered off, go ahead and press and hold volume up the home button and power button at the same time. And then go ahead and let go once the Samsung screen lights up. So go ahead and let go. And then it should take us into stock recovery where we can do uh, a quick factory reset. Only if your device is in a boot loop. If you're not in a boot loop and everything's running good, you can just uninstall super user and you should be good to go. But again, if you're in a boot loop, this is how you get into stock recovery real quick. So you'll see up at the top, sorry about that, a little too quick. Uh, you'll see you have options to uh, volume up and down to navigate, up and down, power button to select. Go ahead and go down to wipe, uh, wipe data slash factory reset. Press the power button and then just go ahead and hit yes, delete all user data. I'm actually going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it's done. But there you have it. That's how you do a factory reset. That's only if you're stuck in a boot loop, your device isn't booting up. You can just go ahead and go into that stock recovery and do a factory reset. But that should be it. Hopefully this video helps you out and gets you back to stock. Uh, if you need to take it back for any warranty reason, etc. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. Once this is done, you can just press Reboot System Now. Device should reboot just fine. Go through the start setup. But that's it. Again, please give this video a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.